What is going on, everybody? It is Civil here, and I am bringing you a kind of a fun one today. Uh, it's going to be a little mini, very, very mini, mini scheme out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Uh, obviously, this is going to be available in custom, but this is the only playbook you're going to find this in. So, if you have a custom Arizona Cardinals, uh, if you're looking for something fun to run, Arizona Cardinals, that's what we're doing right now. You're going to want a fast quarterback. I'm use, using Kyler Murray here. You want to use Lamar. You want to use someone who can really run. Now, before I get into it, I want to apologize for my voice. Uh, I've been real sick the past week or so. Uh, starting to get over it, but as you guys know, you know when you start to get over that sickness, um, you kind of lose your voice. So I apologize for my voice, but we're going to get right into it. Now, we are in the shotgun doubles Y off formation, okay? And this is what our, our audibles are going to look like. Now, we have the touch pass. We have the RPO alert X smoke, which is going to look like this, our X, uh, our X play. Um, it's basically inside zone, which is going to give us a cool option to do that. And we're also going to have the fake jet pass power in here. So that's going to be our A, our A play right here. Now, the final play is not going to be PA jet sweep. We actually want that to be Y sail. And really, the reason behind that is that Y sail is a fairly decent pass play stock. So you can quick snap it if you so choose. Um, whatever, whatever. But really, getting real, uh, breaking it down right now, we're going to go up against random defenses. And this is somewhere you're going to want someone faster than Larry Fitzgerald here on this touch pass. So let me actually sub someone in who is a little bit faster than Larry because obviously the whole idea of a touch pass or jet sweep, really that's what these are, jet sweeps, is that you want to be able to get out and hit that edge as fast as possible. So here, um, I'm not super familiar with them, but we're going to put Isabella here. Uh, I'm not sure how fast Isabella is, to be honest with you, but I know he's faster than Larry. So... The way we want to set this up, now there is some setup to this, is that we're going to want to slide our line away from the touch pass. So we're going to the left here. We're sliding our line to the left. And then we want to ID his user. Now, he doesn't have a user. We're playing the CPU. So I'm just going to ID the linebacker. But we're just going to do this. And we're going to watch how we are able to get the edge. Now, our running back did end up missing the block. And that's kind of why it's important to be able to set that mic uh, and ID him. But basically, once again, we're just going to slide to the left. And set him in motion. And we're going to watch here how once again our linebackers, or our running backs actually going to miss the block again, which is kind of frustrating. Um, but we should do it here. And if I actually user the running back and put my cursor on him, you'll see he actually does pick up that block now. So if you're having issues, this is one big thing. If you're having issues in any kind of blocking where your halfback's kind of dumbing out, put your cursor on him before the play. So watch this. He's going to do a better job now of picking up the block. Once again, right there, he's able to actually get hands on him to get the block. Now, the defense that this is going to work really well against is going to be more like a press sets like this. It'll work okay against this. Um, I mean, you'll see here, we'll get yards. You know, I mean, you want to get a good block in the edge. But right there, you know, it's decent. You want someone faster than Isabella. I'm not sure how fast he is, but he's not that fast. But I guess the defense looking like this, we want to go into some either fake jet pass power or the RPO X alert. And what this is going to be, it's just going to be a very simple handoff where we're just going to give it off. Now, he got shedded right there. Not a whole lot we can do. But when that box is really light and they're kind of they're kind of in a spread out defense, like right here, touch pass will do good. Um, send that right here. And we'll see how the touch pass is going to do fairly decent here. Once again, we're getting shedded on the outside, so you, want to put, you can almost put a tight end out there to really make sure that you're going to be able to pick up the box fairly well. So we'll get something like this. We're going to, be able to go to the fake jet pass power, and this is where we're going to have a lot of fun on. And, of course, we're getting blown up. Now, you want to be a conservative. A conservative is huge when you're running with your quarterback in this game because they are going to fumble a lot. But I'm going to go back to the, uh, the power right here where, once again, we have it, and we're able to pick up a few good, decent yards right there. Nothing crazy, but it is decent yardage. Uh, once again, you know, we can go back to the jet pass power here. And right there, we're going to be able to kick it in. And right there, that's going to be able to showcase kind of the big play potential we have in this. Uh, once again, fumble, you want to make sure you're on conservative when you're playing in-game. Practice mode does not have that. But, so, we're in this set, right? Uh, it looks kind of compressed, you know, the box kind of set. So, touch pass is going to be really good right here. And right there, you're able to see, with not great speed, we're able to take it to the crib pretty easily. So it's kind of about it's kind of hard to practice mode to do, but you kind of want to showcase or you kind of want to do this against certain looks right here. You want to just run the inside zone, you know. Boom, it's simple. We're getting you know good decent yards. If I have better stick, we're getting about ten yards right there. 
It's all about reading the box. Right here again, we could run this. Uh, we run this again, and I mean, you're just really looking at the numbers. You know, it's all a numbers game, and that's why this actually requires more thinking than you. You know, than it's kind of led on to believe. Where once again, we have good numbers right here, so we're just gonna hand it off. Now we get shedded, yeah. There's not a whole lot we can do about the shedding. But really, like I can show it over and over. Once again, like we have the numbers here. This time I'm gonna go with the uh, pass power, the fake fake jet power. And we're actually able to cut that back and kind of bad stick there, but holes are opening up. Once again, the inside zone is probably a better call here. Right here, touch pass. We're able to set this edge fairly well. And once again, I mean, you guys are able to see how we are breaking this open for a good 20 yard gain. So really, we're just able to do that stuff back and forth. Kind of just really annoy the defense. Once again, guys, what play should we call here? Honestly, there's a couple plays. We, we could call the touch pass and it'd be okay, but I'm going to go with the, uh, the inside zone. And we're going to get a good five yards. You get a good back there, you're falling forward for a good six, seven, eight. Right here, inside zone. Uh, really, you're, anything besides the touch pass here, I would say. And the inside zone doesn't do great. That was kind of a weird front where that, that front right there actually kind of uh, matches up pretty well. Right here, this is another kind of interesting front where we're just going to go inside zone. And we're able to get, we're able to get the good yards. Very, very simple. Uh, right, I mean... I guess I like this. I guess this, I would like to do the power just because it has this pri This power has the best big play potential, in my opinion. As you see, I mean, terrible stick, but you see, I mean, it has big play potential. It's just against that kind of defense, you know, there's not a whole lot. Right here, I mean, it's touch pass. We have the numbers. Boom. 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 And we're out. Simple. It's all a numbers game. Now, we're going to go over the pass play really fast which is why sale. And honestly, we're looking to roll out to be able to throw this deep corner. So you almost want to just motion him across and block him to where it's got, he's going to help you be able to set the edge. We're going to be able to get out. And you want a quarterback who can make the throw, but you're going to be able to give up basically a run pass option between your quarterback and throwing that deep corner route. Now you could do some other stuff with this. Um, you could definitely do some other stuff with this where you, know, you could put this drag underneath here. You know, throw your drag right there. You can get creative with that play, but the deep corner is what we're really looking to do. So you want to be able to kind of set yourself up and be able to roll out with it. So I'll show it again right here. I mean, you guys have all seen this type of play before. Here we go. And we're able to hit that fairly, fairly easily, guys. It's it's pretty simple. You know, I mean, I, I, I can keep talking the numbers. I mean, once again, right here, we're probably going to touch past it. It looks like we can set the edge pretty well. So our halfback missed the block again. Remember, if you if he's missing that block, just put your cursor over him, and he will make that block. But right here, this is not a touch pass. This should not be. Yeah, we got blown up because I, I that, that was a wrong play call on my part, and that's why that got blown up. But, I mean, we go back. Right here is kind of an interesting one. I would probably call power here. You see, big, just huge play potential. Once again, be on conservative. Don't take huge hits. You're with your quarterback. You know what I mean? But right here, touch pass. Symbol. You know, you would get shut down outside. You might have a high, uh, high run block on the outside. But I mean, once again, we can touch pass this. And you see, we're able to hit that hole, get in there, and get a good 30 yard gain. Super, super simple, guys. I'm a big fan of this type of stuff just because it's it's a lot of fun. Um, once again, I mean, we have touch pass here. You see, running back picks up the block. He doesn't hold it, and then that, we shed it on the outside as well. But, I mean, this type of stuff to me is really fun. Uh, terrible stick from me, but we're still able to get about five yards. So, you see how that inside zone is actually really good. It's actually pretty cool, too. Like, just like the idea that we're able to go between all of these pretty seamlessly. Right there, didn't get the blocking we needed, so we did get blown up. But I mean, it, it like it, it's simple. It's simple. There is a tell with this, but it's not the end of the world. Right here, we're gonna be able to roll out and make this throw. Once again, I mean Kyler Murray, Lamar, uh, dudes like that. You know, you you want fast breaker, you want escape artists, you want fast dudes. Here's a touch pass again. 
able to get out, get a real decent game. But that's probably going to wrap it up, guys. Now, once again, like it was a real, real mini, mini scheme. Something I do enjoy, though. So if you have a custom, I think this would be a great addition to your custom. Or if you're just looking for something to, uh, fun to run. Oh, uh, Once again, I do apologize for my voice. Um, if you guys would be so kind, I do stream now, but basically all weeknights, uh, starting about 10.30 Eastern time. The link will be in the description below, so if you guys are interested in watching me stream, watch me play High Level Madden, make sure you guys check that out. Make sure you guys tell me in the chat that you're from the YouTube, and I'm super, super appreciative of that. And with that being said, guys, I will see you all next time.